And the entire time I was going through the interview process, we came up here in 2007. Coach Crowder was a starting center. We were invited up here to be the homecoming queen. All right, at Frostburg, and came up here, and I worked for a guy. I was the offensive coordinator at Southern Virginia at that time, and I worked for a head coach. We were getting everywhere four and a half, five and a half, six and a half hours early. We got here just after lunchtime in 2007 for a 7 p.m. game. So I had a chance to walk, walk campus in October when the leaves were changing and all that here, early October, and see everything. And I just looked around and said to myself that day, I said, if I ever get the opportunity to work here, I said, I'm going to come here and turn this thing around. I said, one of these days, they're going to hire the right head coach, and things here are going to turn back to the way they were in the late 80s and through the 90s. So to answer your question, you know what, why do I want to be your head coach? I have always thought that this place was a sleeping giant. And coming here in 2007 confirmed my thoughts that when somebody come here and did it right, and when the players here decided they were going to do it right, that Frostburg State could be really, really good. Um, as, I, as I'm standing here looking at you, there, there's some guys here in the room didn't finish the season last year. There's some guys in the room that didn't play last year. There's some guys in the room that had 50, 60, 100 tackles last year. There's some guys in the room that had all the catches and had all the carries and made all the throws last year. I want you guys to understand as you're sitting here looking at me, okay, you all have a clean slate. All right? I have no idea who had 50, 60, 80 tackles last year. I don't know who had 15, 20, 25 catches. I don't know and I don't care. I'm not going to watch one clip of your season from last year from this point forward. And the coaches back there will tell you I haven't watched anything yet. I threw your highlight video in last week, not knowing who any of you are, but threw your highlight video in just so I could really, really quick over 10 minutes get an idea of what the schemes were, you know, what you did on offense, what you did on defense, okay? And then some of those things will change, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But as you're sitting here looking at me, you've all got a clean slate. Everybody starts afresh from right now, from 9 p.m., whatever the date is right now, 9 p.m. Monday night. So if you if you had 100 catches last year, it does not matter. And if you didn't play one play last year, it does not matter. Everybody starts afresh and everybody starts anew right now. And that includes the coaching staff that's here. And before I jump forward, the, the coaching staff that's still left here, guys, I'm going to keep. Okay? Coach Shoemaker's internship finishes up this summer, and, and he'll move on this summer. But he's here until his internship expires. Coach Crowder's here until his internship expires. Okay? Coach LeVar, getting off on a tangent a little bit, guys. Angelo LeVar was my first ever college coach. He's here until I leave here, until he quits. All right? And listen to what he tells you, because I listen to what he tells me. Okay? Coach Eckle is here until, until his, his stuff expires. Coach Mayer's here until he doesn't want to be here anymore. Coach, we've changed his name. Coach Volpe in the back. <laughs> Coach Volpe, he's here until he doesn't want to be here anymore. All right? And on that note, yeah, we're, we're going to bring in some new coaches. There'll be some guys coming from Southern Virginia. There'll be some guys coming from around the country eventually. All right? But everybody gets a clean slate, coaches and players right now. I know nothing about your past and, and don't care. We good with that? Yes, sir. Man, and that, that goes off on a tangent. Guys, what was, what was your record last year? Don't anybody answer. Okay? I don't care. We're not we're not three and seven last year. We're not four and six last year. We're not one and nine. We're not two and eight. Guys, as I'm sitting here looking at y'all, everybody sit up. Sit up in your chair and look at me. Like grown men. Alright? We're zero and zero. Alright? We're nothing and nothing. But we're getting ready to be a whole lot of something. We have no win loss record. All right, and again, getting off on a little bit of a tangent, you guys, you seniors, you juniors, y'all are wondering, hey, is this guy going to throw us away? Is he going to throw us away, start all the freshmen, start anew and try to be good in four years? No, no. I don't know what year you are in school. We're going to play the best 18, 19, 20 guys on offense. We're going to play the best 18, 19, 20 guys on defense. We're going to play the best 18, 19, 20 guys on special teams. Regardless of your year in school, it does not matter whether you're a freshman or you're a senior. Guys, some of y'all will graduate next year, and I won't know you're a senior until senior day. Because it doesn't matter. You've got a clean slate, and you're going to play based on your playing ability, which you show us this spring and which you show us next fall in practice and in games. All right? Guys, what you did last year is completely old. We all start with a completely clean slate. Hey, study hall. <laughs>